Uh, okay, let's start this game. Um, hopefully you enjoy this one. This is a good story game. Let's just go through all that. Sometimes I'll have it a little bit higher because there is dark areas. Let's just check settings for starters. And also I'm just going to check the mic's working. Because we had problems last time with the mic and we haven't got any problems with the mic. Excellent. Let's go. Right, so let's change graphics. Let's go full screen. These things definitely off. Make sure they're all off. Never feel normal. Yeah, that looks so. Oh, let's come back to thingy. Yes, save that. Audio, make sure all that's ready. Sidebars, that's off. I think we're all ready to go. We must still unlock that as well. But so many different languages. Let's just click that. And let's play it. Okay, to play this game with the controller, press A. Okay. Alrighty, Buster. We better mosey on back to the ship. <coughs> Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. Can I fight? Hey. Just make sure the audio's not too loud. Give me a quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. One second, let me turn up a little bit more. Just wanna get the sound just right. I think 70s will do. Let's have it. What's in store for me, Pop? 
，有疑问吗？看这张牌，告诉我，你看到了什么？ It looks like a fish. Yeah, it definitely looks like a fish. Your wealth can come from any direction, but when such a wind blows, death and disease and destruction will 肯定会随之而来。Death. Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? Hey, bud, let me get a go at it. Oh yeah? Think you got the stuff? 你能比你的朋友打得更好吗，勇士 ？Fight? Sure. Let me another quarter. Gonna start a tab. I'll give it a whirl. Looks like I'm the karate master now. Wouldn't you know? Why am I wasting time on this red bag? Hey, Chuck, we better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man. Just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. That doesn't look creepy. Pull him in two. Cargo hold two. Sign on it. Okay, I don't want to know what's in the box. Or is it uh, dead soldiers? Could be. Hey man. Hey, where's my, where's my fifty cents? Fifty cents? What fifty cents? Come on, man. Hey, bus off. Buddy. Nobody pushes me around. <laughs> Medical opinion. These men appear to be drunk off their rear ends. Get this one to the medical ward. Throw the other in the brig and keep him there.
Yeah, so they're American soldiers because they've got the flag on the uh, caskets. That's what it's called. Over here we would call it a door. Okay, there's a child. Teapot, come back soon. Oh, so that's his child, I guess. And he's got a. What looks like. A, a notebook. That thing moves. Can we get the notebook? Guess not. Me to do something here now. Or am I just looking at the body? Guess so. Charlie, how's your time off? Just get me out of here already. What the hell's going on up there? I heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. Okay, let's get out of here then. Hang on, I didn't check in that room because he's just come out of there. I should have checked that. Bring 10 days of brood. Okay. That ain't gonna budge. What's over this side? Some more information. Save on screen in case you want to read along. Or something else. It was a telephone, I'm sure it was. Was it a telephone? No. Okay. Guess not. Yeah, let's go to the next place. There's nothing 
that way. Okay. I won 50 matches uh, and then ended stream, so it's probably about 17, 18, I think it was. I'll have to check. God we, damn. Well, we got Another 50 stick? wins. Who's the lucky winner? And the next Fall Guys stream is in two hours and 30 minutes, I think. Just depends when this chapter finishes. Oh, damn it. Buckley. Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor fucker. But yeah, it was a good day yesterday. We got 50 wins on one stream. Took 10 hours nearly. Well, 9 hours and 20, but... It was decent. Yeah, there's nothing on that one. Yeah, as soon as this chapter finishes, then I'll be back on fall, guys. Hopefully the mic sounds okay. Yeah, I'm ready as well. I think it's about uh, not next, not this week's Tuesday. I think it's next week's Tuesday. It's the next fame pass. down here. Okay. Ah, right, so we're in the bottom of the uh, ship. Some nice vehicles there. Jump scares, I tell you, you see that. that kid over there? Uh, no. You feeling all right? Well, let's keep going. Charlie, get over here! All I can think about is that beam. Ouch, Charlie. Yeah. 
Surely there was another gun there. Yeah, on uh, Twitter, they've put the fame pass three so you can see it now. On the Fortnite website. Oh, there goes the one. Hey, come here. Why would there be a kid on the Oh God, no! Charlie!
Hello! And welcome to my repository. I am the curator, the curator of stories, stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death, stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. Mm -hmm. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes, eventually, to everybody. That's Still, true. none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. Okay. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions, or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken, or whatever mess you've made. So the story goes. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water, diving. Or maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. I wanted to. I just didn't, I didn't have time, you know? I had to work all summer. Oh, uh, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is, like, super expensive. Look, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Dude... You know I'm not, like, the best around new people, whatever. Just shut up. Brett, you're not on this trip because you're my bro. I mean, you are my brother, but, I mean, like, we're buddies, you know? Um, kinda. We're just out here to fucking hang, cool out, and kick it. What the fuck are you talking about? Let's just kick it and be legends, man. <laughs> All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... The new medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing with Julia, it's been rough.
It's been like two weeks. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah. I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Hey. So, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? This, uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. What's it better to use? About finishing med school? Glass. No, but those. it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. You sure you're ready? Give it some thought. Consider all the permutations. Hey! Julian, is it? Comrade. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey. What's up, man? Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me. Hey, man. Want to crack a cold one with me? Every second. Huh. Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with minutes. Yeah, relax. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Don't Tight. Worry, uh, I, I love beer. Hey, you had much better Sorry, but that excuse does not hold water. Right on, Bradical. I like the cut of your ship. Uh, it's jib. Don't ruin it. You ever do any diving before? Um, no, actually. Never done it before. Water virgin. Nice. <laughs> hey, we're gonna pop your cherry together. I'm gonna be gentle. Uh... <laughs> 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 well, where's the old crust bucket skipper, anyhow? Flesh is it? I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... You already have. So is everybody on board and ready to go? Uh, you're selling, I'm buying. Oh. Yeah, she's definitely impatient. Sick, That's right. it. Get it all out. Uh, yeah. You uh, want to go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Yeah. Oh boy. Let's see those hot pigs. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, Are they you know, looking for this ship? A nice dive. For the beginning. Optimistic. Brad did his homework. If he says the wreck's here, it's here. <laughs> okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Feast your eyes on this. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, that kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Bliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh. 
technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Look, for all anyone knows, we were just diving and then found it. So who cares? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine. As long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. Oh, I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera, see if you can find anything useful. Right out. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. Hey, um. what is that? Almost got the gear good to go. Thanks. I need a hand. Interesting. Need an extra hand? Never used a rebreather before. I think we're in good shape. It's probably not a bad idea for you to have a clue how these things work. Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. Seriously, where does she get off bitching about us? She's making a small fortune on this trip. Yeah, not that small. Rules are rules. I get it. But what's the big deal if nobody finds out? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right. I'm going to get these rebreathers set up, and then we'll go through the final steps together. Cool. Just holler at us when you're ready. Huh. Ah, that's what I'm looking at here. Ah, right. I see now. We've got to find pictures. Is he taking a deuce? Nope, just going that way then. I'm not sure Julia left anything on the mainland. Ooh, very nice. French, is it? This only smelled as good as it cost. At least it made her happy. This. Okay. What's we got in here? Nothing else. It's a very nice uh, boat. What's up? How you doing? Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. Hey. All part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. Took more than that just to screw up the trip. Just get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. You know how to use that? Uh, no, not really. You might want to just let it do its thing. Oh, driving instructor, I see. This doesn't look kosher. It does look a bit uh, made, doesn't it? Hi. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. Uh... Yeah, sorry about before. Everybody's just a little 
We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. I get it. But there are rules and laws and customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? How experienced are you? <laughs> Excuse me? I mean, I know what your fake credentials say, but I don't know the truth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Were you snooping around? You don't trust me? The fake certificate is only temporary. My old one expired and renewal out here is like extortion, okay? This dive is supposed to bankroll the fees. But that's not exactly following the rules now, is it? So I guess that applies to all of us. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. Come on, you see anyone else out here? Who's gonna know? Exactly. We logged our route at the harbor. If someone sees it's been disturbed, it ain't gonna be hard to put two and two together. Especially if some little souvenirs show up online. <laughs> you know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. Hey guys, tanks are ready. Tank. Okay, so. This is the rebreather, way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Whoa, 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 eager beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Looking good, Jay. I'd like to take you underwater. Hey, that's my sis you're talking about. You know it. Oh, hey, guys. What, Jesus, why are you so loud? I almost completely forgot. When I was looking at the dive cam, I saw this huge hole in the tail, kablooey. That's your way into the plane. Oh, nice work, man. Thanks, Conrad. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Looking for a first mate. Um, what have we got? Camera. Uh, I'll take that one. Soon, soon it will be you and me. Out of the frying pan. I got the bank stick. All right, kids. Yeah, I heard that about you. Good to go. Ha ha. You ever Just have to use one? The rules, On a please. shark? Nope. Uh, what's she gonna take? I should take the camera. You're on camera. I'll take the wheels. Let's get a before photo. It's like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like they can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh and eager cabin boy. Still a no. Your well-paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Sure, I might as well relax. Sure. Why not?
pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? Uh, it's a long story. It's a long story. It's complicated and it's really difficult to explain. Well, I'm a complicated guy. Try me. Well, it involves at least several trips to the bank and signing of big stacks of paper with large numbers on them. So you took out a loan. You know, you're smarter than you look. If you're interested, maybe my family can make an investment in your business. That's very kind of you to offer. Yep. I suppose we could have that conversation. One second. Let me just make sure that's working okay. Yep, let's continue that. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Weather looks clear. Mm. I have to keep an eye on those clouds. Uh oh, it's getting mighty crowded out here. Is that another boat? Oh, uh, ship? Something? Uh, what's that? Binoculars, okay. So it was over somewhere over there. Don't see anything. There's a boy. We're supposed to find something? Oh no, what was that? Oh, it's just this sea lapping. Yep. Duke to Alex. Duke to Julia. Well, what was that? Wow, that is not your everyday wreck. I hope those clowns don't get me in trouble. Is that a hand? I thought it was a hand then, I was going to say. Oh, no, no, it's wrong. I see. Hey there, how's it hanging? You look like you're taking full advantage of your relaxation time. I'm a man of many talents. It's too bad charm is not among them. Ah, but my charm is like a boomerang. You think it's gone right over your head until smack. You're out cold. That makes no sense. I have to keep track of the dive, but I'd be happy to continue this conversation later when I can give you my full attention. In private? Private. Just just chatting it up, you and I, in the old conversational intercourse. <laughs> okay. Got achievement for that. Hello again, little blip. What you doing all the way out here? the blips towards the left. So it's towards that side.
Let's don't see anything though. How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. I he was on the boat. Hey, it's your vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. Hey, Fliss. Look, there's a boat. What's that about? That is not the Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? Uh, we are not doing anything. I'm the captain, so you be quiet and let me handle it. You got that? Here, you see this? Look at our boat. We can take care of this, man. It's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, 10 bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it 20. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like 30? I can do 30. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. Preserved, aren't they? Because of the world. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. The turret. We can get in through there. Dangerous. Uh, ladies first. Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? It's a dream come true. <laughs> Let's not waste any time not exploring. Go, go, go. So where are we going? Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Good God. Say not touch. Ugh. 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 He's holding something. Yeah, we touched. Okay. What 
Because that's his wife or something. Wow. What the hell happened here? From the look of things, they knew they were goners. Fuselage. It's a shot down there. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Julia, leave it. You'd have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Kind of dangerous. Might as well listen to him, just in case. Oh yeah, that's where the observer things were. Picture. Probably an issue is that. Oh. Hmm. Hit it twice. And again. Hmm. I thought it was a different. Let's go for that, I think. See a choice, so we have to go. Do 
something stupid down here? That's it. One chance. You get that? Chill out. I'm fine, see? No problemo. This says it was a rescue plane. Launched from a U.S. base. They were on their way to help out a ship. It's probably the ship that we're looking for, isn't it? Shark, not interested in us. Let's go. Hold on. Uh, oh, okay. I, uh, what are you doing? Why are you fidgeting? Uh, I don't know. I, I wanted to bring something up with you but it's it's not the best time oh you had something to raise with me did you <sighs> it doesn't matter let's get back up to the top geez alex you're more of a wreck than that plane that just literally fell apart on top of us give me a break okay Come on, we've really got to get up top. Yep. Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where'd that other boat come from? Wait, Julia, we got to decompress here. Whoa! Damn! What the fuck? We got to get up there. Wait! We have to decompress. Damn it. Yeah, okay. Decompress, right. Oh my god, this is taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Okay, okay now. Go, go! What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. Oh, nothing. Your brother just took it upon himself to blow up my grill. Conrad, what is wrong with you? So why are you paying the ocean? A group of fishermen came by and damaged their boat. Well, they got caught on the dive line. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. So then uh, Ambassador Conrad figured the best move is to show him he'd rather throw away his money than give it to them. You're an asshole. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane. And it is huge, full of cool stuff. Unfortunately, we did not leave it as pristine as we could have. What? Why? The dive line, actually. How bad? Uh, there's no cockpit anymore, for starters. God. Well, that's just fucking perfect. Yep. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he, the love of hers. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, Forthright, stubborn. 
Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? There is. Let me reassure you. You help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. How well preserved was the plane? Pretty much what you'd expect. Brad, it was insane. It was like traveling through time. No shit. Well, it was like traveling through time and accidentally ending up in a dimension where the past is underwater and like everything is covered in barnacles and sharks. Sharks? It was a gray reef. Ah. Uh. Hey, I thought it was pretty intense. Wasn't Conrad gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. Hey there, polar bear. You good? Sorry, uh, I was just thinking about how crazy our dive was. Can you believe what we just got to experience? No, yeah, it was pretty it. unbelievable. Something up, you can talk to me, really. I guess I'm just kind of anxious about, like, our future, you know? What's next? I think we've got a long and happy future together. I do. Really. You know, you're pretty much the best thing that ever happened to me. Yeah, might as well say it. I love you, Alex. You know where everybody is? I'll go get them. Why don't you just chill out here? Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. Julia. Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. All right, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. Okay, what's that? Oh, that's the camera. Right. Let's have a look at the pictures. You're kind of preoccupied. No, I'm good. Let me look at the pictures. Sorry. Didn't realize I was spacing out. So, does the accident mean we can't do any more diving? Let me just say this once more for the record. Going into that plane was super dangerous, obviously, and twice as illegal. Oh, he's okay, posing for the now camera. Now damage is done, so we just have to lie oh, about it Oh, it's going to be a he, isn't it? I think. Or else we're going to go to jail. Well, my lips are sealed. Oh, that's so, what's the next bet. We're going again tomorrow? Uh, yeah. That seemed a little too dangerous for my blood. Relax, Brad. How many times do I have to tell you not to be such a wuss? That's all we can do on that, okay. Uh, I'm gonna go find Julia. Hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Sorry, I got distracted. No worries. Let's go get it. Got it. Let's go up. Come here, you vixen. Easy, Tiger. We should get back. 
Keep right here. Ski. <laughs> You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. <sighs> wow. You find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Yeah, oh, come knows. on. No one knows we've even been down there. And I don't think ghosts can talk. You Americans are all the same, huh? No respect for anyone else's traditions. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Brad, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Yeah, let's hear it. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time, smooth. The woman answers, I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and insists her parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed down on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an ax. Always an ax? I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting the facts, cliches and all chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. So gross. Okay, so who did it? The woman says, it was my husband. And she turns to the closet and says, he's in there. Ah, yes, the husband. And that's why I've always been a little weary of marriage. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and, sure enough, there's a man inside. Mm -hmm. But he's cut his own throat. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer, closer. And he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> Yuck, ah, so gross. Horrible. Hey, oh, super twist. Nice. Nice one, Squire. Cool story. You have me going. Pretty cool. I think you told it better last time. But good effort. Okay, you've all had your fun. 
We should all turn in. There's some weather heading our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required. One more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, ma'am. <laughs> I'm into this website. 10-4, <laughs> <laughs> good buddy. And I'm out. Also, it's getting dark, you know? Ah, so that's what the boat's called. Any worse. The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, god damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How was that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Hey. Alex, what are they gonna do to us? I don't even wanna know. I wanna get out of here. I'm in a lot of danger. Best of you. You're gonna regret this, you piece of shit. You're gonna rot in a cell.
Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. treat a lady right. Stop! Please, just stop. Slow down. Easy. Please. Just stop, man. Finish with him later. Be on your best behavior, little man. Yeah, complain. Okay. Okay. Got a gun. If we play our cards right, we can catch him by surprise. Take him out. Mm-hmm. We should just rush him. Take the gun. They can try to fight back, but if we had the gun, they'd be forced to surrender. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. They're too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I 
climb out the window, climb around the side, and hit them from there. We'll take them from the other side. Don't leave us here, okay? Okay, let's do it. you doing boy boat just get to the boat this kid's trying to kill me also Take this. Use it if you have to. Sit down. Over there. You, right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bon de con! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la! Ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule. Olsen, come here. Which one of you is gonna tell me about this Manchurian goo? can take care of himself. All right. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, give me a break with that gangster shit. I don't think you fully comprehend the severity of your situation, sister. I'm just going to say it. Fliss has got to be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's the captain and they barely laid a hand on her. I bet you told them about the Manchurian goal. They're in cahoots. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I just lost everything I have, and this is what you think? You're all in this together. This was a trap, and you set us that up. That asshole. Put a cork in it. <sighs> Sit still, all of you.
find out how long the storm is gonna last. You try anything, anything fish, and there'll be consequences. Get I get it, fishy, but... Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Do we read you? Everything okay? Over. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us? It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gotta hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance, not used to a little weather freaking you out. <laughs> yeah. Might as well go along with it. Uh, okay. A-OK -okay out here. We can handle a couple of puffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. Hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. Yep. Oh yeah, great. He could get killed down there. Brad's a big boy. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. Everyone's still alive. Things could have been quite different. <sighs> you appear to have saved somebody. A bold move that paid off. This time, but does this make the rest of your group more vulnerable? I dare say we'll find out, hmm? Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? Yeah, let's... Uh... You're going it alone. Yeah. Independent. Admirable. Possibly foolish. We'll learn soon enough. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. <sighs> Probably shouldn't have said that.
Okay, I'm going to leave it there. And I'll carry on that uh, in a couple of days' time. It's been really good uh, so far, this story. And if you like the content, please follow, as always. And I'll catch you again.